Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed week. Uh, mine's going really good. Hey, uh, I wanted to just do a little vlog today. I'm just kind of out here in my garage piddling around. Uh, my wife needed a shelf to put a couple of knickknacks on. So I said, okay, what size do you want it? So she takes the tape measure, measures out the perfect size, exactly what she wants. 13 and 5 eighths by four and a half. So I cut it that exact size, take it in there, and she's like, no, that won't work. I want you to add an inch and a half on both ends and one inch on the width, and that should work. So I cut the new shelf, and lo and behold, it was perfect. Only two tries. That is a major success. So listen, I want to talk to you <laughs> about my wife, being as how we're on that subject. So, uh... You know, listen, I'm like the perfect husband. I'm just kidding, far from it. But listen, there are things that I do for my wife, three things that I have literally done for the last 35 years. And number one is I do all the laundry. From day one, from even before we got married, I've been doing all the laundry. And the reason is, is because the washer and dryer are out in my garage. So I'll come out here on a Saturday and I'll just be doing little projects, piddling around, working on my dirt bikes or something. And I'll just bring the laundry basket out here and throw in all the colors when they're done, throw them in the dryer, throw in all the whites. But I'll do the laundry as I'm working in my garage because the washing dryer's right there. And then when they're done, I'll take them in, throw them on the bed, fold them all up and put them away. Uh, laundry to me is relaxing. It's not a job. I love doing it. I'll do your laundry if you bring it over. So the next thing I do is the dishes. My wife hates doing the dishes. Matter of fact, she doesn't really mind doing the dishes, but she hates unloading the dishwasher. And she'll say all the time, hey, I'll do the dishes if you'll unload the dishwasher. But most of the time, when, like, when we get done with dinner, she doesn't want to do the dishes right then. She says, leave those dishes and I'll do them the, tomorrow morning. <laughs> well, I can't handle a dirty kitchen, so I... She cooks, I do the dishes. That's the way we've been doing it for 35 years. So I do the laundry, I do the dishes, and the next thing I do is I do all the grocery shopping. And uh, I've been doing all the grocery shopping since we got married. She hates going to the store. And I love going to the store. Plus I go to the commissary, and usually when I go to the commissary, I'll run into a buddy or two, you know, from my military days. So I love going shopping. So anyway, those are the three things that my wife does not like doing. Laundry, dishes, and shopping. And so I've been doing all three of those things the whole 35 years we've been married. So Sam, I'm a pretty good husband, huh? Well, listen, lately one of those jobs has turned out to be a pain in the butt. And I'm tired of it. So that's why I'm making this video to vent to you guys. Listen, every time I go shopping... Every time, when I get home, I have this big table right here in my garage that's in my way. But I have to leave it here because when I go shopping, I open up my car, I have to unload all the groceries on this table, and then I have to take my bleach wipes, and she makes me wipe off everything before I bring it in the house. The milk, the butter, the bags of potato chips, every can, everything gets wiped off with a bleach wipe before I bring it in the house. And I've been doing that ever since this COVID thing started. I've been doing that for over a year. And she still makes me do it. And you know what? It takes me longer to decontaminate everything than it did to go shopping in the first place. And my question to you guys is, do you decontaminate everything before you bring it in your house? Because if I'm the only one doing it and none of you guys do it, I'm going to complain. I'm going to say, look, nobody else is doing this. Nobody's getting sick. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm going to stand up for myself. So listen, I don't know how many of you noticed, but last couple weeks I had a cold. It's just now going away. So for a year I've been wearing my mask. Every time I go into a store, every time I pump gas, the minute I get back in my car, I take that, uh, what's that stuff called, sanitizing stuff, and I sanitize my hands, everything I touched, and then I wash my hands at least 5,000 times a day. So I've been doing all that stuff, haven't been sick in a year, 
And then all of a sudden the grandkids start school and immediately one of them comes home with a cold and I get it. So, so what's the use? So anyway, listen. Some of you might be thinking, Pastor Bob, why do you do all those things for your wife? You know, the laundry, the shopping, the dishes, that's almost everything. Why do you do all that? Well, I'll tell you something. I got a pretty good wife, and this is why. Guys, this is no kidding. If I decide I want to go buy a brand new Harley, right? I can go right in there right now and tell my wife, hey, I want to buy a new Harley. She'll take me down to the dealership and help me pick out the color, and she won't say a word. If I decide I want a new Mustang or a new Corvette, if I go in there and tell her, hey, I want to buy a new Mustang, she'll take me down to the dealership and help me pick out the color. She won't say a word. She won't complain. Seriously, I can go buy anything, and she won't complain. Her philosophy is, you know what? You've worked hard your whole life. You go buy whatever you want. Seriously. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a pretty good wife. So that's why I do all these things for her. Plus, she's a good cook. So listen. Just just on the side note, I've always wanted a Corvette. Always. My brother-in-law got one uh, recently and I took it out and drove it. Man, most awesome car in the world. So uh, anyway, I found a real nice, a used one, a C4. And uh, this thing, it was gorgeous. It only had like 60,000 miles on it. So I told my wife, I went down to look at it. This was like about a year ago. I went down to look at it. I got down in that car, I could not get out. I waited too long for my Corvette. I'm too old now, I can't get in and out of it. I thought, I can't drive this thing, I can't get in and out of it. So anyway, the, so much for the Corvette. And, uh, oh, honestly, <laughs> the Harley, I don't think I could get a new Harley. I don't think she'd let me do that. Her and my daughter think I'm too old. I'm almost 70, and they'd be thinking, you're too old, you're not getting a Harley. But now, if I wanted a new dirt bike or something, I'll go right down and pick it up. And the only other thing she might balk on is a gun. If I went to buy another AR or something like that, she'd, th she'd, she'd say to me, listen, you got enough guns and ammo to kill half the Russian army. But if you want it, go ahead. So anyway, that's that. So anyway, listen, I just wanted to know if uh, any of you guys were decontaminating all your stuff like I do. Leave a comment, because if you're not doing it, I'm, I'm complaining. I'm gonna tell my wife, look, none of my subscribers do it, none of them's gotten sick. I'm done with this decon, I need this table out of my garage. So anyway, I just wanted to do this vlog, just kind of tell you guys, have a blessed week. I really appreciate all you guys. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your support each week. And uh, we're going to try not to get too political. I don't want any more strikes. So uh, you guys have a blessed week. Just remember, heaven or hell, you choose. And once you take your last breath, it's a good deal.